How's it going guys, Pens for Friends here, and today I have a very special video for you guys about the one, the only, the Huntsman. This infamous sniper rifle, if it is even a rifle, is infamous among its ability to be extremely lucky, especially for players with no skill or talent like me. Actually, speaking of lack of skill or talent, I, don't, I probably didn't deserve almost half of the kills in this video, that one included. Uh, I'm also going to talk about in this video how it's a really, really good learning tool for new players. Not that it- and I'm also going to touch on how it's actually extremely viable if used right compared to the stock sniper rifle. Uh, I'm also really sorry about how I haven't posted a video in a long time. I know that this video, or any video for that matter, has been extremely overdue, and that is my fault. I had a bunch of stuff that I had to do and I sort of had to put YouTube aside for a little bit, but don't worry, I'm gonna get back on my schedule as soon as I can. Alright, so I was just playing on Frontier here with my team, and I, I've been camping this corner a lot, and, uh, and with the Huntsman, it's really easy to just jump around corners and stuff, and I actually get a lot of really cheeky kills like that. So yeah, I'm just walking around here, pulling up my knife. Actually, speaking of knives, I've actually been playing a little bit of Counter-Strike Global Offensive recently, which is probably why I pulled my knife out there. I'm subconsciously doing it after playing that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm capping this corner here still. And that other sniper over there, I know he's got the uh, stock sniper rifle, and that has its own advantages over the, over the Huntsman, but there are actually a few areas where the Huntsman actually does beat the stock sniper rifle. Uh, a couple of those include your charge up time, which is immensely better. You can charge up in uh, almost half the time, I think, that it takes to charge up with a normal sniper rifle. And then there's also the fact that you get uncharged uh, scopeless headshots, but it's not as good against your average one on one sniper duel. Uh, it also doesn't have a scope, and I touched on that earlier, but that's actually a really good advantage for you, especially uh, helping with awareness, which is also another good thing that newer players should be focusing on. Yeah, speaking of awareness, I was camping this little uh, corner here, and this is actually a really interesting spot to play, especially as a uh, demo man or soldier, but I was playing with the sniper instead just because I was messing around and I'm just trying to get some kicks in. Obviously, a demo man up here would be basically brutal, because you can't really take him out from this spot. I dropped down and I later realized that was a mistake, just because there was, a, there was two soldiers there instead of one. But, eh, whatever. Uh, so yeah, just going out this way again with my knife. <laughs> Wish it was worth as much as the CSGO ones, but anyways. <laughs> Man, like, this, this gun, like, well, it's not even a gun, it's a bow, but this, this weapon, it's so good for spamming, it's ridiculous, and the, the biggest drawback to this is, uh, the fact that it's projectile-oriented, and, but that, e even that helps newer players as well, because then they need to focus on learning to, uh, predict where enemies are gonna be, and that's, and that's something important in and of itself, and then I see a spy here, let's do a quick check, go over here, see if he might be by the health, spot him up here, uh, Give him a bit of chase. He's not really. He's, he's probably a bit of a newer spy, just judging by his cosmetics and his appearance. So, yeah, I'm chopping down here, looking to uh, spam out this area here. I see a soldier, take a shot, and miss. The power's having some trouble air blasting, but no big deal. Alright, so I go over to this corner again, and there's always a lot of guys, like, clumped up in there. It's really quite a nasty choke point. Get some health from the medic here. I jump around the corner and I, I get a kill there. And I didn't. And as I talked about earlier, I didn't deserve that. I, did, I don't deserve any of these kills really. It's, a, it's the huntsman. You don't deserve anything. But yeah, uh, friendly pyro lights my own. I get a soldier. That's what the digging is. I really obsess over the hit sounds and stuff just so I know what's going on. I even have that little sonic jingle whenever I get a kill. Mm -hmm. So. Just looking for any enemies over here, not really seeing a lot at the moment. Just rotate around this way. Grab this ammo box up here because I'm running low on ammo. And actually that's that's another thing about the Huntsman that's really great, by the way, is the ammo management, which even though you, like because it because you only have twelve arrows with it, you really need to be 
careful with how you spend your arrows and stuff. So yeah, um... Also, it's, it's really good for, um... <laughs> snipers that are damaged, like that guy there, because the... The, uh... The, the Huntsman, sorry, it has... Like, it's... Uh, max charge on a body shot only does 120 damage, which isn't enough to kill light glasses. <laughs> but that headshot was, oh my gosh, I'm really... But, but, like, what's happening to my aim today? Oh my gosh, okay. As I was, as I was saying, <laughs> the, the body shots don't do enough damage to kill, which, once again, teaches new players to aim for the head, which is another really important thing when playing Sniper, and... Like it's 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 also just a really fun weapon to use, which is really, which really makes the game a lot more interesting, and it really offers quite a unique playstyle compared to the uh, stock sniper rifle, which I also find quite interesting. So uh, back onto how the game's going here. Our team's doing really well. We're we're holding this uh, payload as it is right now, and that's going well. Sniper gets uh, piped. It was pretty good follow up our demo man there. All right, so. This soldier spams me out from over me, so I just go and get some health. Well, that soldier took it, but anyways. Jump around this corner again. Get another lucky hit. And get knocked out by a rocket. But I did get a kill there, though. So I suppose it's all worth it. Alright, so the game is basically finished here, but I'm really happy with how it went. Our team really pulled together, and we were at, they were actually super close to capping there, and I got a... Another lucky spammy kill, but that's basically what the Hotspin's all about. And it does take an element of skill to use, but it, it's, it's a really good weapon for uh, developing game sense, and that's why I uh, think it's such a good one to use. <laughs> that head engineer, I've been noticing, he has an unusual wrench, and I don't even know if he knows it, but... Victor. Eh, all good to him. Alright, that was a great game, and... Uh, I hope I hope you guys learn a little bit about the Huntsman and why it's a good weapon for newer players. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I promise to make more content in the future. Thank you very much.